triangle congruence. Um, the tricky thing about this is it's it's very, 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 very specific. Like there is literally only one way to do this. And that can get a little confusing. At first it's going to seem really simple. So the definition of congruent triangles is that if triangle A, B, C is congruent to triangle, um, we'll just do a totally different triangle, D, E, F. Let's draw these diagrams. So here's triangle A, B, C. <coughs> And here's triangle DEF. Okay, first of all, where should I put the D, the E, and the F in this diagram? Um, D down there. Put D up here, kind of corresponding to where A is. Then E should be <laughs> down there. E should correspond to where B is, and? F should correspond to where C is. Yeah. Now, you're not always going to get diagrams where the triangles are actually lined up. Right? So you might get a diagram where you have ABC and then this triangle is like flipped upside down and rotated. And so this is partially going to be an exercise in like manipulating shapes in your mind and trying to flip them in your mind so they line up. Which is a tricky thing for some people. It's a new skill. It's not a skill that we've practiced a lot so far this year. But there are some tricks. Right? One is to just find the first letter, so A or D, and kind of start from there. Okay, from A we go to B and then C, or from D we go to E and then F. And the definition of what these two congruent triangles are is that all of the following things are true. A, B, congruent to, or we could also say equals. Um, I think typically you're going to see congruent. AB is congruent to what line segment on this triangle? DE. DE. Right. Now how do we know that AB is congruent to DE? It's because of the order in this congruent statement. So AB are the first two, DE are the first two has nothing to do with alphabetical order, even though in my example it is an alphabetical order, right? So AB, first two things named in this triangle, is congruent to DE, the first two points named in this triangle. So then also we know that BC is congruent to EF, because those are the second two. Oops, I forgot my part. I forgot to denote that that was a line segment. But a triangle is not just two lines, it's three. So what is the third line? AC. Yeah, either AC or CA is congruent to FD. So in that way, it sort of wraps around, right? When you look at this statement, there is a line segment that connects this point to this point. And it's the same as the line segment that connects this point to this point. This is not it, though. Also, in a congruent triangle, we know that all of the angles are congruent to their corresponding angles. So angle A is congruent to what angle in this triangle? Um, angle D. D, because they're both the first one named. Right? Angle B is congruent to angle E. And angle C is congruent to angle A. What's another way of naming angle A? Yeah, 
So we could say angle BAC Another way of saying this would be angle BAC is congruent to what? Angle um, EDF. Yeah, EDF. Remember, the vertex is always in the middle when we name angles. Oops. Angle EDF. So you can see like how much information there is here already. This is really easy to say in English, but to actually list out all of the things that are true can get a little overwhelming sometimes. Basically, all we're saying is if one triangle is congruent to another, all of their corresponding sides and angles are congruent. And all a congruent side is is an equal side, and all a congruent angle is is an equal angle. So we could just say if one triangle is congruent to another triangle, all of the corresponding sides and angles are equal, which sounds even more simple. But geometrically, to show this stuff, that's like actually three steps. Because first I have to say triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. Then I have to name the segment. AB is congruent to DE. And then I would say, so AB must equal DE. That's the definition of a congruent line segment. All right, questions on this? You don't want to take a picture of the board before I erase this? So. We're going to do some examples. What if I have, actually, that looks too simple. Try to draw this. So I have two triangles here, right? I'm going to label all these points A, B, C, and D. What if someone tells me triangle A, B, C is congruent to triangle C, D, A? And let's say I want to label on this diagram all of my corresponding or my equal angles and sides. Um, so we know how to use this terminology, right? If this angle were equal to this angle, I would put one little swipe in each one. That's what we're going to do. So who can name or point out something that is equal to something else? Yeah? Angle D is uh, congruent or equal, there's angle B. Yeah. So B and D are equal. And I'm going to use two lines for B and D. So that is equal to that. A and C are equal. Is there an angle A here? No, no because there's two. There is sort of. It's really this, right? Yeah. But that's not an angle of one of the triangles. So we would have to name it a little bit differently. If you want to talk about this angle, angle A, B, A, C. B, A, C. Yeah, this one would be B, A, C. And what would that be congruent to or equal to? Um, A, C, A, D. This one would actually be equal A, to, in A, this diagram, A, C, D. Right? Wow. And the reason for that is because of the way they, they labeled this triangle, right? A, B, C. So in this triangle, we're starting here and going like this, right? That's congruent to CDA. So in this triangle, we're actually starting here and going like this. This is where I said this stuff gets very, very technical. Because we can't really rely on the diagram. We have to follow that congruence statement exactly.
Yeah, now the nice thing is now there's only one angle left, right? So DAC in this triangle must be congruent to BCA. So once we've done the first two, that third one becomes a little easier. But this is not necessarily congruent to this, according to what they've given us here. And actually, it probably isn't the same um, in a diagram like this. All right. Now, which sides are equal? Yeah, BC is going to be equal to DA. You see how BC is like the second thing here, and DA is the second yeah. thing with there? And that's why I'm using two, because typically you'll start from the beginning of the triangle and start with like the first line is on A, A, B, and C. C, 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 C which A, B, and C. Right. So since I just said that. Yeah. And then what's the third thing? And sometimes you will actually see this. Yeah, AC and AC. You will actually sometimes see them label that, even though technically that's the same line segment. Oh, I see. Right? But they do that because this is a line segment in the top triangle, and it's a line segment in the bottom triangle. No, it looks weird once we add all these. Yeah, it looks like some sort of alien or something. Yeah. Something you'd see in Java's palace. Yeah, it's like a palace. All right, questions on this one? It's actually kind of hurting my head to look at Yeah, that's very busy. Don't stare too long at trying <laughs> Or risks to geometry. All right. What if, have, <laughs> what if I have this triangle? X, B, Y. And then let's say I have another triangle here. doesn't look congruent, but let's pretend it is. <laughs> Maybe this one is um, Y, C, B. And let's say someone tells us triangle X, B, Y is congruent to triangle B, Let's try to mark this up. Um, okay. B Y is the same as A B. I mean, B Y is the same as A B. Wouldn't it be no. the same as B B? Yeah. No. C -A. Yeah. So yeah. again, remember, it can be really a deceptive if we just look at these and we try to say, oh, that one looks like it should be the same as that. Same but technically, yeah, we just want to start with the first line segment named here, X V. XV is going to be the same as the first line segment in here, BZ. Yeah. Right? So this is one of those triangles where this version of it is like flipped around and upside down from this one. BY is the same as Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, BY is the same as ZA. So BY is the same as ZA. And then the third side is easy. X, Y must be the same as A, B. Now, the way I would probably say this to myself is Y, X is the same as A, B. Just because I'm trying to follow from left to right and then wrap around back to B. The nice thing about these triangles is it's going to be really easy to name these angles. Each vertex only has one angle. So I can just say X is equal to B. X is equal to B. V is equal to Z. And why am I using two 
So because it's about the same as V and X. Yeah, because V is not the same as X. So if I wanted to move this triangle on top of that one, what would I have to do? Move it, like flip it, flip it, reverse, like flip it that way and then move it up. Yeah, I'd have to like flip it like well, not 90 but maybe 180 Wait, degrees. You'd have to put XY right. along VA. Yeah. Yeah, I'd have to, I'd have to line this up with this. So I'd have to almost like turn it inside out, sort of. The shapes are a bit different, it's hard to tell. That's why computers are like that. Yeah. 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 Ye